Are you freaking kidding me, guys? Palantir stock is up another 8% right now, up over a dollar. Well, now actually 99 cents. Either way, it's up a dollar. It hit over $14 per share earlier today, actually $14.20 to be exact. So in this video, we're going to break down the charts here, go over my honest thoughts on the charts, break down what I'm doing. So if you guys find value, hit that like button, feel free to subscribe, and don't forget to get up to 15 stocks for Moomoo, each up to 2000 bucks and 20 12 stocks from Weeble with any amount deposited. Link down below, guys. It is free money. And of course, those links help out the channel. I appreciate you all as always. And now, cheers. Let's dive into it. So again, we hit $14.20 earlier in the day, which was right around, what time was that? 11.30 a.m., so about an hour prior to me filming this video. And that's crazy considering two days ago, you guys probably remember, Palantir saw a pretty sizable pullback. Was that yesterday? Uh, or two days ago. Either way, actually, no, no, that was yesterday. This stock went from $13.50 to about $12. And no, two days ago, it went down to $11.80. You guys probably remember that. So from $11.80 two days ago on Wednesday morning to now over $14 per share. That is a move of 20% on Palantir. And it's clear as day, guys, even though you can argue it's overbought on the four-hour chart, it is clear as day the bulls don't give a crap. The bulls are still in charge. We're ripping, and we might be going to $15, maybe even higher pretty soon here, guys. And I'm not guaranteeing that. Obviously, nobody knows exactly what's going to happen. But with this momentum, by the looks of it, guys, is, uh, is 15 out of the question? No, it's not. No, 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 it's not, guys. It is right around the corner. Let's be honest. So we have a clear golden cross on this five-day, five-minute chart on Palantir, which means the 50 SMA is well above the 180 SMA. That's a very, very bullish sign here. And with today's move up to $14.20, we took out not only the highs from yesterday, but from the day before, day before that, day before that, and pretty much the highs from the entire week, guys, right? And let me see, probably from the past, yeah, from the past couple of weeks as well. You guys can see now Palantir stock has almost doubled up since before earnings. Yes, you heard that right. Since before earnings, it has almost doubled up. The stock was at $7.20 back in the beginning of this month month just about three weeks ago a little over three weeks ago and now it's at again $14 so from $7.28 to $14.20 that is a move of almost 93 percent so yeah almost a double up here on Palantir which is very impressive and I'm not gonna lie guys it is a little bit overbought so keep that in mind but like I said a minute ago the Bulls don't give a crap the Bulls don't care they keep on trucking along and they keep going higher pushing the stock even higher higher and here on the four hour chart guys you can see how overbought it actually is but we just hit a high. I mean, the bulls, like I said five times already, don't give a crap. But at some point, guys, we are going to get that pullback. We are. Mark my words. We will get that pullback on Palantir, but it doesn't look like it wants to happen anytime soon. So for that reason, I'm sitting on my hands. I'm being very patient, and I'm waiting for the pullback. And, and in all reality, I probably should have got into this as a trade on that pullback yesterday or even two days ago when it got down to 1180. But at that point, I thought it was still, uh, you know, fairly overbought and I wanted to get it at a lower price. So maybe I made, uh, well, I guess I did make a mistake there. Uh, and maybe I was a little bit too, uh, I don't want to say greedy, but maybe a little bit too, um, maybe too patient if that makes any sense. I don't even know. Uh, but yeah, either way, I probably should have bought yesterday on the dip, maybe yesterday or uh, two days ago as well. But shoulda, coulda, woulda. I didn't do that, obviously. And here we are making a pretty sizable move on Palantir today. So I'm going to wait and see what happens for the next couple of days for the, uh, you know, for the rest of today, especially as well, which is very important. And we'll see where it goes, guys. I mean, if this thing comes back down, maybe it cools off around 13, 1350. That could be a point of uh, of entry. I'm not telling you guys what to do. I'm just kind of thinking out loud here on this video, right? So Palantir is looking very, very solid, guys. Very solid. And you guys probably remember I had this channel drawn out. What time frame was that on? Maybe on the 20-day time frame. Let me draw this out for you guys to give you all a better visual on what's going on here on Palantir. So clearly, guys, this is where we're trading right now. We're in this channel, and now that we hit 1420, money. $14. We're at the top of the channel, which is why, like I said, I'm sitting on my hands. I'm being patient because 
I don't want to FOMO into it on, on on this big move, right? On this eight plus percent move so far on the day because we're pretty overbought. And again, at the top of this channel, so there is a chance Palantir does maybe come back down to maybe under thirteen fifty, like I said a minute ago. Maybe it comes down to thirteen dollars, maybe twelve fifty, maybe twelve twenty five. For all we know, bottom of this channel, which is right around you know twelve twelve twenty five. That's where I'm looking to get an entry point. You know, a better entry point anywhere from twelve twelve twenty five, right twelve fifty. And you can see back on the tenth, or when was that? The tenth, eleventh of May. We did get a sizable pullback from around ten fifty to about nine dollars. That was a pullback of around thirteen percent. So. So anything similar to that where this comes down to the bottom of the channel, I'm going to be all in for sure as a trade on Palantir stock. So what do you guys think? I mean, this thing just keeps on trucking up 8%. It was at 1420 earlier. The bulls just won't let up, guys. And this goes to show that big money is probably coming in right now. They're likely coming in. And yes, there was big money already in Palantir before the last earnings, but it's obvious that it, it, it's night and day. It's night and day right now what's going on. We got the gap profitability, right? We're probably going to see that on a more consistent basis now. And it's like a light switch turned off. Now a lot of the money's coming in. Look at the volume, guys, for uh, for Pete's sake. I mean, the volume has gone through the roof the past two, three weeks. And, you know, this thing's just been crushing it. And on top of big money coming in, what else do you think is happening, guys? Shorts are covering very quickly, in my opinion. Maybe not all the shorts, but we are seeing a lot of shorts covering. And on top of that, we're seeing that in some other stocks, which we're not going to get into in this video. But with interest rates being super high, guys, a lot of these shorts on their short uh, short positions, they're getting smoked on interest because you're. it's not like you get this uh, you know borrowed money at 0%. You're paying five, six, seven, eight percent interest, maybe more, maybe less, depending on who you are, right? And that eats at your pockets every month, every quarter, every year. And, you know, it pretty much forces them to cover on top of the gap profitability, the the sudden spike in the stock. This is forcing, you know, there's a lot of things here, a lot of variables forcing the shorts to cover. And that's what we're seeing in Palantir. That's what we're seeing in stocks like Bed Bath and Beyond that we're not going to get into in this video. Make sure you guys go check out my previous video on that one. But uh, yeah, pretty awesome day so far in the markets. I mean, guys, everything is pretty much green right now. I'm sure there's a couple red stocks. Let me actually come down to the bottom of my watch list. Yeah, we have a couple red stocks right now. But overall, man, things are looking very good. The Nasdaq's up, Dow's up, S&P, Russell, you freaking name it. It's, uh, you know, it's on fire today. So what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Feel free to hit that like button and subscribe. And guys, don't forget to get up to 15 stocks for Moomoo. All you have to do is go down below, use that link, or go to stocksurfest.com slash Moomoo. Open up an account. You get one free share of stock right off the bat. And guys, once you fund your account with at least 100 bucks, you get four more stocks, totaling five stocks. And fund your account with at least $1,000, guys, you get 10 more stocks, totaling 15 free stocks. So if you want some free money, Money and you want to help out the channel, use that Moomoo link down below. You might as well get 12 more stocks from Webull with any amount deposited also linked down below. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Good luck out there. Peace out.